Good morning, everyone. Sheriff McIntosh here. Just wanted to uh, have an opportunity to say happy fall. We are uh, just getting ready to approach the fall season, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning here in Colorado. And I thought that I would uh, just take a couple of minutes to address a question that comes up quite often uh, when I am out in in the field, and that is uh, the jurisdiction of a sheriff. Now, there's a lot of things that a, that a sheriff's office takes care of, but at times there's confusion around whether the police department in the county should take care of a, of a situation or whether it's the sheriff's office. So in Adams County and in, a, in most of Colorado, the way that the uh, sheriff works in Colorado is we take care of everything that is outside of the city limits. So in Adams County, we're approaching or, or have already uh, gone over half a million people, believe it or not. And we in the sheriff's office are responsible, we are responsible for about 100,000 of those residents when it comes to a patrol perspective or a detective perspective. So when you dial 911, if you're in unincorporated Adams County, you get the response from the Adams County Sheriff's Office. If you're in the city limits, then the police department will be the one that responds to that radio call. Now there's also special events that happen within Adams County um, or um, at, at times um, events where we have to call in and partner with our neighboring jurisdictions. When one of those situations happens, um, we are able to either through an MOU uh, which is a, a memorandum of understanding or an IGA, which is an intergovernmental agreement, we were able to bring folks in from other agencies and they have the same authority at that point to come in and assist us in something that's, that's going on. As the county sheriff, I can go into the city limits and enforce an action because it's still within Adams County. But a city cannot go into the county without special permission, can't go into, a, into the county, the unincorporated parts, and enforce an action. There are a couple of exceptions to that, and one of them is uh, those IGAs or those MOUs, as, as I've discussed. When we do a DUI checkpoint or a saturation, um, we can give those city police officers um, the, the jurisdiction to be able to come and, and move about the county as they need to to enforce what, whatever is going on that night. Um, the, other, the other place that that comes into play is when we put together task forces. And so in Adams County, we have a drug task force that focuses obviously on um, the, the drug crime and, and uh, issues within the sheriffs or within all of Adams County. That task force is made up of deputies, it's made up of police officers and supervisors from the Adams County Sheriff's Office as well as all of our um, police departments within Adams County. All of those that work in the task force are sworn in by the county sheriff, sworn in by me, so that they have jurisdiction throughout all of Adams County to enforce the laws uh, that, uh, that they would be running across in, in the course of their investigation. So I hope that that helps. Um, it's great for you to join us this morning. And um, if you have a question of the sheriff, please uh, send us a, uh, a little note on, uh, on our Facebook page and we will, uh, we will try to uh, answer that question. Have a great day.